This question is also a repeat of the kinds of questions that you'd occasionally see on the old test. And sometimes you'll see the word analogous. Sometimes you'll see as in this case, what is most similar to what we're looking for. We've got four situations that are going to try to be similar to the situation being described in this portion of the text from 83 to 91. Now here's the trap. So I call it the analogy trap because what they're going to often do to trick you is try to make the basic outline of this situation seem to match what's going on here. But when you actually get into the details of the two cases, they don't match each other at all. So let me give you an example. Let's say this passage were about an artist. And we had a question like, what situation is most similar or is analogous to the situation described in this part of the passage? And let's say you've got your four choices. And let's say one of the choices is about an artist or is about art. This is almost always going to be the wrong answer because they're trying to make you look at this and say, oh, they're both about artists, therefore they're similar. Well, no, that's a very superficial reading of it. There's something going on deeper in this case. That core relationship, that core structure of the scenario is what we're looking for in the choices. And again, this is very abstract. When we get to an actual question, you'll see what I mean. But don't just go for the superficial similarity. That's often a trap. Which situation is most similar to the one described in 83 to 91? I'm going to get a bit more text outside of that just to get more context. So let's see what the situation is. She dearly loved her father, but he was no companion for her. He could not meet her in conversation, rational or playful. The evil of the actual disparity in their ages, and Mr. Woodhouse had not married early, was much increased by his constitution and habits. For having been a valetudinarian, who is a person in weak health, who is overly concerned with his or her ailments, all his life, without activity of mind and body, he was a much older man in ways than in years. And though everywhere beloved for the friendliness of his heart and his amiable temper, his talents could not have recommended him at any time. So what's going on here? Remember, this is in the context of Emma losing her friend because Miss Taylor got married and moved away. So now we're talking about, well, maybe the father could step in and be that friend. But even though she loved him, he could not really fill that role due to the age difference and due to his health and just lack of vigor. All these aspects really don't allow him to play the role of Miss Taylor, at least as a close friend and confidant. That's what's going on here. So when we're looking at the choices, we need something about how the difference between two people makes their relationship not really work because in the case here it's about age and it's about health that's the general structure of this situation let's look at a a mother and her son have distinct tastes in art and music that result in repeated family arguments be very careful this is one of the traps this is about a father and a daughter. This is about a mother and a son. Superficially, the relationship seems the same. But when you look at the full choice, it says that their distinct tastes result in arguments. Does it say anything about how they're arguing here? Is that the structure? Is that what's going on in this scenario? No, it's just that they're not going to be compatible due to age difference, due to health differences. So we can go ahead and get rid of A. How about B? The differences between an older and a younger friend are magnified because the younger one is more active and athletic. Notice this maps much more directly on the scenario, right? You've got an older and a younger friend, so an older father, a younger daughter, and those differences that are already there because of the age differences are magnified because the younger is more active and athletic. Remember they said in this part of the passage that he was older than his years because he didn't take very good care of himself or he was someone who is always sick. So B maps much more onto the direct, the deep structure of what's going on in the scenario, even though superficially it has to do with friends. You might say, well, wait a minute, this is friends. This isn't relatives. Yes, but the core is the underlying structure, not that superficial relationship. So B looks good. C, an older and younger scientist remain close friends despite the fact that the older one's work is published more frequently. Again, we've got the older and the younger, which is good. Uh, but it says that they remain close friends. The opposite is being said here, that they're just not that close because of the age difference. So we can get rid of C. The age difference between a high school student and a college student becomes a problem even though they enjoy the same diversions. So a couple problems here. The age difference between these two is not great enough. We're talking about a huge difference as described here between the father and the daughter. High school versus college is just not that much of a difference. So it doesn't map very closely on. Second, 
it becomes a problem even though they enjoy the same diversions. It doesn't really even say that they enjoy the same kinds of things. In fact, just the opposite. He can't meet her in conversation. Um, he, yeah, basically he was no companion for her because they don't enjoy the same things. They're just completely different ages, completely different temperaments. So D doesn't map well enough. Even though it's close, it's not, the difference isn't as stark as it needs to be as we see in choice B. So B is the answer. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com slash enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.